was the worst maritime disaster in 30 years when the cargo vessel El Faro went down in a hurricane in 2015. All 33 crew members died. Now, as Alex Dimitrik reports, the NTSB has just released its final report on the accident. It's taken just over two years for the NTSB to finalize how the El Faro went down, claiming all lives aboard. The El Faro left Jacksonville for Puerto Rico at the end of September 2015. A few days later, it sank in a hurricane, coming to rest two miles down. All 33 crew members were killed. At the NTSB's release of its report on the accident, family members of the crew relived the loss. Rochelle Hamm and her husband Frank left Baltimore for Florida for his job aboard the ship. It's very hard. You know, I try to prepare myself. I've been dreading this forever, but unfortunately, we have to go through it. Starting with the ship's voyage data recorder. Found on the bottom, it recorded conversations on the bridge, including the first and second mate's cautious urging to the captain to steer away from the hurricane. The input of the other crew members, the captain's light regard for their suggestions, and how crew members mitigated their speech when expressing their concerns. I think that decision right there just messed it up for everybody as a whole. Because hurricane winds were forcing the ship to list to one side, oil to the engine was disrupted. The main engine had stopped and could not be restarted. Unable to maneuver, winds and waves pushed the ship onto one side, quickly flooding cargo holds below deck. The captain ordered abandoned ship, but the El Faro's old style open lifeboats were unusable in the hurricane. As for life rafts, conditions made it unlikely that the life rafts could be launched manually or boarded by survivors. What happened to the El Faro produced findings the NTSB hopes will keep similar disasters from happening. I'm praying that something good comes out of this. The NTSB can't make regulations to improve safety at sea. It can only make recommendations. Back to you. Alex, thank you. Among the NTSB's recommendations, outfitting older ships with enclosed watertight lifeboats, increasing the odds of crew survival in case of an emergency.